So, last year after Tommy and its first vlog, I decided I would love to go skydiving for myself. Sadly though, you can't skydive until you're 16 and I'm only 15. Oh wait. My 16th birthday was three days ago. And I go skydiving on the 12th. Holy shit. So how are you feeling about us doing skydiving, Mum? Very nervous. I think I'm more nervous than you. So, as I explained in the intro, I've been wanting to do this for just over a year now, so to be able to finally do it is amazing. But it's weird, because I am in no way an internal ninja seeker. I can't even bring myself to go onto a kid's roller coaster, and when I did just a few years ago, I was passed out for most of the ride. Yet, for some reason, for the months that this experience has been booked, I've pretty much not been stressed about it at all. I've been excited. What my mum said was definitely correct at the time, but that would eventually change. In fact, for the rest of the video, I'll be using this stress gorge on the bottom left corner to show how I was feeling at that point in time. With that being said, we're about to arrive at what's possibly the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. You cannot convince me this thing isn't intimidating. Once we were there, we were booked in the reception. We got told to wait in their cafe to get called to do our training. Sadly, I didn't get any footage of the training, but it was only five minutes and pretty much what we were told to do is, while even the plane, keep our hands tight on our straps with our hips arched and head as far back as possible. We had to hold this position until we got a tap on our shoulder by the tandem, and then we could release our arms, look around and do poses for the camera pretty much thumbs up or point or whatever. We also got told how to land safely by keeping our knees bent as far as possible because there would be people on the ground catching us instead of us standing landing. After this, I was sent back to the cafe where I found out I was the last of three groups flying today. So I'd have a chance to watch the other two groups do it first. Then we realized that the first group had already left on the plane. So after waiting for them outside for a bit, we got some footage of the first landings. Okay, Cameron, so how are you feeling? Fine. So Fine. you should be up in the air in about 20 minutes, yeah. maybe? And you're still fine? Then after the second group had jumped and the plane came back in to land, I realised that my group was going to be the next one to get kitted up. Hello, welcome to Sky High. Tell us what your name is. Cameron Johnston. Cameron Johnston, nice to meet you. What are we doing today? Skydiving. We're skydiving. <laughs> skydiving for 15,000 feet. Why are you doing this? Uh, I've seen a video of someone else doing it a year ago and decided that I wanted to do it for myself. Yeah? Excellent. You got any friends and family watching you? Yeah, my mum. Where are we? Over here. Hello. You nervous for him? 
Are you nervous for him? Yeah. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Good, looking forward to it? You scared of heights or not? A bit of an adrenaline junkie? Not really. Not really, I'm just want to try it. <laughs> for some reason this just doesn't seem as bad. Awesome, so. anything you'd like to say to friends and family before we head to the plane? Hopefully you'll survive. Hopefully survive, hopefully you will, and we'll see you in the skies. So I'm in the plane now. Here's a picture I found of the inside of the plane to give you an idea. Me and my tandem are on the front of the bench on the right and my cameraman is sat on the floor in front of me. What I didn't realise for some reason was how steep we go. I thought it was a gradual ascent but we were at full 45 degrees. I'm surprised we didn't all just fall off the benches. This is when I was really like, wow, this is actually what I did.
was having so much fun, but I couldn't feel anything except my ears hurt and my face freeze and around this point to sudden sickness. Not sick in the way that I wanted it to stop, but I think my ears hurt and caused some sort of gag yeah. reflex in me. I didn't want to mention it at the time, but when I realised I might throw up, I realised I had to say something. Luckily, once I got a few breaths in, the sickness went away. didn't see it at the time and I don't see it on camera. We were told afterwards that apparently one of the solo divers was being silly below us so we had to divert and ended up in a different field to where we were expected to land and the catches couldn't reach us and we had to do a standing landing. <laughs> Take your goggles off, young man. Oh, is that, buddy? Go ahead. Is all right? <laughs> I felt a bit sick you now near on, on the end. I enjoyed it. You enjoy it, though? Yeah. Yeah? Meg, what was the best part? Once we're again to land in the middle, I'm yeah. a bit more sick, but I still enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, so we're glad you enjoyed it. Hope you had an awesome time. Thanks very much, Ed. I just want to end off the video to say that while I might not have came across like it in the video, I had a really good time and I would love to do it again. Perhaps with something to protect my ears this time. Please let me know in the comments if you would want to skydive for yourself and why. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all later.